So today we're going to look at uh, implicit flow. So what does it mean by implicit flow? Let's say we have uh, containers. And then we attach a pipe to it. So it is a flange, right? So we have flange for the tank. We place a pipe. And then uh, this is the uh, uh, exit of that pipe. So we fill in uh, the container with water. Now let's see, I put here a valve. Right, so that the valve switch it off. So the water, if you put in a water here, so it will uh, increase until it reach to a certain level. Where here we have the P atmospheric pressure, right? So we expect when we close, normally close. So the outlet here pressure will be PA TM. So after it reaches to the uh, the final height, and then we open uh, the valve, right? So it become uh, open, right? So here we don't have uh, uh, atmospheric pressure because pressure here is higher. P, let's say inlet, right? P inlet. If we are uh, referring to the last lecture, this PI is equal to P ATM plus rho G H, right? So this is the levels. Uh, the location, the difference between uh, the, the inlet location with the water surface. So this is the uh, absolute uh, pressure at this location. So when we uh, when we normally close, right pressure before it, right P also P inlet so when we open um, so here is PATM right ATM when it's closed so when we open the pipe right so we find that here is no longer P atmospheric it will be a P something right so I just put here P outlet lah, eh? P outlet so pressure here will be not equal to PI pressure there will be P equal to PI it will lose some lo uh, some pressure there so we have PI minus delta P at this inlet of a valve and then we have outlet uh, pressure because here also there is a loss as well P losses due to the valve right so from this position to that position we have what we call a viscous flow as the water leaving the pipe 
let's see the water leaving the pipe let me use a different color right so the water leave and splash on the floor right so we have floor there and it's splash uh, too right so in this region we have in B seed flow.